can't stop the show, so get fucking up. So let me break, break, break it all down for you. I ain't never giving up, I ain't never giving up. You know I'm gonna take, take, taking that crown from you. A little bit of the bubbly. What's going on, you guys? It's the FPL Penguin back again with another video for you all. Hope you're doing well. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the triple game week that's been given to Manchester United. If you know about the whole uh, fans invading uh, Old Trafford, you know, invading Raw, WWE and all that jazz, you know, had to get postponed, had to get rearranged. So we've just been hit by the news. Uh, ben Krellin, the legend himself, uh, Mr. BC, uh, telling us it's going to be played on the 13th of May, if I'm correct. So that's a game week 35. So they'll be playing Leicester, Villa and Liverpool. And uh, it could be a good one. could be a good one to get uh, these Manchester United players in. Just let you guys know as well, as you can see in the little diagram, they do have a blank game week in game week 36. So don't go too crazy. Don't go too crazy on those Manchester United attackers. So basically what I'm trying to say is, these are the players I think should probably bring in. Uh, disclaimer, Bruno Fernandes. I'm not really going to mention him as much. You know what I think about him. We all know what his form's like at the moment. But these Manchester United players are the players I think you should probably look at bringing in if you haven't already. So the first player I want to talk about is Marcus Rashford. He's owned by just over 10% of FPL managers this season. And he's priced at 9.6 million too. With 10 goals and 10 assists to his name so far this season, he's probably one to look at for this triple game week. So as you can see now, you can see on this little heap map, that's going to pop up around me. He likes to hug the left side of the wing a lot. He does get himself into the box a lot. He passes, he gets 1.1 on average. So I think he's a good one. You know, price is a bit, a bit steep, pushing in a bit. But like I said, Bruno Fernandes, you know, 11 point something million, about just nearly 2 million more than uh, Rashford. You know, I like this guy better. I think he's more attacking. Fair enough, Bruno takes penalties. But save you some money. Next one is Mason Greenwood. Priced at 7.1 million and owned by 6.5% of FPL managers. With 5 goals and 2 assists to his name. He's one to look at. He's been doing well in the last couple of games. As you look, last few games back. He's been uh, getting some good form going. So he could be another one to probably consider bringing in. He's just over 2 million more cheaper than uh, Rashford. So he's about... 2.5 million cheaper than uh, Mr. Marcus Rashford. So I think he's a, a good one to probably uh, go for. Maybe you want to go for a bit of link up, maybe get both Greenwood and Rashford in. But just like Rashford, he's hugging the right side of the wing this time. Gets himself in the box a bit like Rashford. I think he's a good one. They're both attacking, like I said, Rashford and Greenwood. I think Greenwood's a lovely one since he's you know been at United getting the, the starts for uh, the Red Devils. He's, he's been doing well. He's been doing well in his uh, senior career for the uh, Red Devils. As you can see, 2.1 shots per game and uh, not as many as Rashford once again on here, but 0 0.6 on uh, key passes. But I still think he's a good one. He's cheap. He's 2.5 million cheaper than Mr. Rashford. So if you're looking to save money or if you don't have enough money and you don't want to take that many hits, maybe go for Greenwood instead of Rashford's Luke Shaw. Owned by 17.4% of FPL managers with one goal and five assists to his name. He's looked good for United on some parts of this season. You know, triple game week. Leicester, Aston Villa, Liverpool, which is usually a snooze fest. It could be a 0-0, usually a 1-0 either way. You know, it's not something that has like a 3-3 in it last few seasons or a 3-2. It's usually end-to-end, -end, very, very tight. Luke Shaw offers those attacking returns too, not just clean sheets. I think he's a lovely one to go for if you want that defensive asset, that United asset, going into the, that triple game week as well. You can see on the heat map, he just bombs straight down that left side of the wing like Mr Andy Robertson. And he's another nice gem, a nice one to go for. I'm not saying he's cheap isn't cheap, but he's a nice one to go for and could be a good one for the uh, triple game week ahead. So you can see on key passes, he gets 2.3 on average, which is just really, really good, I feel, for a attacking fullback like him. He just bombs straight down, gets some good passes in, gets those assists too. So he could be a good one. But Ezra Gavani, could there be a bit of rotation, you know, looking at his age, maybe give him a rest. Maybe he'll start two of the three. I think they'll probably, you know, start him for the Liverpool game. Big game. They need to win that game. 
So maybe he'll be benched for either the Villa and Leicester game. But I'm still putting him out there. I think he's a good one. Getting the goals, getting the assists. He's a good punt to go for. Thanks guys for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and hit subscribe too. Really do appreciate it. I'm going to keep doing more of these videos. Um, I haven't done them in a while. But let me know down below how many Manchester United players you've got for this uh, triple game week. And your thoughts on it as well. And uh, But yeah, thanks guys. Take care. I've been the Penguin. You've been the Bubbly Bunch Army. And see you later. So, so so let me break, break, break it all down for you. I ain't never give it up, I ain't never give it up. You know I'm gonna take, take, taking that crown from you. A little bit of the bubbly.